Constantin, how are you today? We're at the Arias. I'm really good, I'm really good. Nice to be here, for sure. Absolutely. And so, you've just been part of one of the biggest songs in the world, producing Dance Monkey. How does that feel? It feels really cool, yeah. I mean, no one ever expected to go like that, so I think everything that's happened with the song has been a bonus, and it's just amazing to see it take off, and to, for people to just want to listen to it, like, everywhere around the world. It's really, really cool. Absolutely. I mean, it's now the running, the top number one aria on the, on the aria chart, sorry, for 17 weeks, and you had such a strong hand in that. When I spoke to Tones a while ago, she said that she's she just completely trusts you with how everything should sound. So that's huge. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, we just had so much fun in the studio. Uh, we did pretty much the whole EP in this small studio in the valley in Brisbane, and it's just so cool that you know for her to take over the world and. Yeah, I mean the working relationship is just awesome. So it's just like mostly having fun in the studio, and then we just ended up making some songs as well. So yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that's what it should be, right? Just having a lot of fun, and then from that, you just make incredible music. Exactly. I think if you're not having fun, then you're probably doing it wrong. Yeah. It should always be fun. Yeah. And so, what would you say your creative process is? I mean, it sounds like it's very free, very flowing, and in the moment. I think the most important thing for me is that the artist is respected in this space because it's their song, it's not my song. I'm just there to, I'm a facilitator, I'm just helping them make the best possible song they can make. So I always respect an artist's decisions, so if they say, oh, I don't think it's this is the right thing, then I'm not going to be like, oh no, but I think it's the right thing. It's just, I'm just gently guiding them and I think the creative process is just to make it a safe space and for all ideas to be worthwhile and to explore any ideas because who knows. Even if an idea sounds silly at the start, it could be a really good idea in the end. So, yeah. And so you've also worked with More Rat. And so was that a completely different process, working between two very different artists? Um, well, with that one, it was a slightly different process because we wrote those songs together. So it was uh, with Tones, she's already already written the songs when she came in. So with Grace, we I recorded some vocals for her and then one day we just had some extra time and we were like, hey, should we write a song? And then we wrote a song and that ended up becoming better. And then that was released and then we were like, hey, maybe we should write another one. And then we wrote Groceries. And so it was a similar thing. It was just we're having fun in the studio, just having a good time. And then two songs just ended up coming out. I think it's like, that, those are some of the funnest songs I've ever written, I reckon. Yeah, it's easy. Fantastic. And so what can we expect from 2020? Uh, lots of cool stuff. Yeah, lots of really cool stuff. Uh, no, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's right, secrets, secrets are good. Yeah, secrets are good. Uh, no, but really, some really exciting stuff. Yeah. So, uh, lots of stuff in Australia, lots of stuff overseas as well. And yeah, it's going to be a really good year. Awesome. Well, cannot wait to see what you come out with next. I mean, your track record's incredible, so looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Thanks for taking the time.